Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us on this episode. Right, okay, so I've not done a studio sort of video for a little bit and it's time for a bit of an update. So I'm going to be sharing with you what I've been doing and up to and what's going on. So as you can see, there's a few cars here that uh, you won't have seen on the channel before. So, but actually, before we go much further, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who tuned in and watched. I can't remember the episode number now, but it was the video where I had some like vintage buggies on here, and I was telling you what I was doing them and what was happening, and I was explaining my sort of disillusionment with uh, with RC. Now, at the time, I was <laughs> I was I was struggling a bit mental health wise and uh, things had been bothering me and I, I basically used that video to help vent things that had been on my mind so since then um, I've been able to sort of refocus now and I've got more of a direction an idea uh, of where I want to be going so hopefully I'll be able to develop that over this year but I do thanks uh, thanks to everyone who tuned in and watched the episode and shared the video much appreciated um, you know, I, I'm aware that I might not come across um, correctly with some of my explanations and how I coined things in the video, but uh, okay, in the end, it, it was it was good to get it all off my chest because things have been bothering me for a while. Uh, anyway, so that was the last studio video we'd done, and since then, so you know, some things have been changing. So as you say, you can see a few different cars here, and um, and since though uh, the other videos i've been um, i've moved some other stuff on now um so i can do some other stuff so the, the stuff that i sold on you maybe not seen either or some of it you haven't i sold uh, i moved on a an immaculate and i'll say like well, like 90 percent immaculate marge meteor that i'd had um uh, that's gone um joe tracks evader bx which was my last uh, video for that, that's been sold. I donated the um, HPI Smiter to uh, Craig and his daughter at the OAG um, YouTube channel. So we moved that on. And um, what else did we get rid of? I'm gonna. It's gonna. My mind's gonna go blank now. But I did move on some other other um, buggies and projects. Oh, the uh, the Roby uh, Mascalaro. That's gone. Uh, the I think that had gone anyway, but the uh, the clone of the uh, Kyosho Optima, the uh, the Great Vigo Beagle, that's gone as well. In fact, that was picked up by Ian uh, at our last race night on Wednesday. Just gone, that's gone as well. Um, so yeah, can't remember everything, but we've moved things about. Ah, Schumacher Cougar as well. Schumacher Cougar two wheel drive, that's just gone. Um, I love it, but it is not going to get the use. Um, so I thought that one can go and it can allow me to uh, get some other stuff in. It's a lovely buggy and, uh, you know, I only really used it once at my uh, local club just to see what it was like. Um, as it was out of the box, really, I hadn't really done much to it. And, of course, for the initial YouTube uh, video review that I did. So, and I've got loads of, well, I'll say loads, I've got other two-wheel drives that are being used more often than not, so I might as well stick with them. So anyway, so that's been gone as well. So that's all I can think of off the top of my head. So what have we got here? Well, um, I'm sure some of you may be aware more in the, maybe the racing community of uh, the, um, the really sad news that, that Force Raceway near Wakefield had to, uh, at the end of January of this month, is closing its doors now it doesn't mean the end of the club forever there are other things um in place hopefully so we hopefully will see a return of the club in the, the near future uh, but if you want to know more about that then if you go and check out force raceway on facebook if i remember to i will put the link in this video description and you can see as well but that is where the um ford escort rs cosworth came from on the t801 chassis Check my notes because I'll forget it. Which is uh, yeah TA01, which was uh, released in 1993 to 1997. And it was kit 
58112. Now, uh, anyone who's been to Force Raceway, it was, there used to be a cabinet near Race Control, and Greg, um, one of the owners of the club, had a uh, stand full of really lovely Tamiya and RC cars. And I'd gone down there for a test track day uh, with some friends, and um, he, he just mentioned that he was selling some. He was going to have to sell some off. Now, this was before the, the news that Force um, was having to close, so at the time I didn't really think too much of it. Uh, but I was really uh, sad now in the, in the circumstances. But um, I did fancy having uh, a Ford Escort Cosworth. Uh, ideally, strictly speaking, I wanted the uh, Pilot uh, because that's the one I really remember from my uh, youth. But I'm not going to be picky or choosy. I wanted to get one of these, but I wanted to look at it first because um, uh, condition is quite important on these. And I wanted to see it first. So, to be honest, all three of the Escort RS Cosworths are lovely models. Um, so, I went for this one. This is the first one that they did. Then it was the uh, Pilot, and then it was the Repsol liveries. So this one's on the TA01. And, uh, yeah, overall, superb condition. Um, needs a couple of things doing. The tyres are pretty nice and supple, but they are flat-spotted, unfortunately. So I'll probably just keep these, and I'll just throw some other rims on uh, for running it, to be honest. Um yeah, there's a couple of light scuffs on the chassis. You can see it. There we go. There's the chassis. There's a couple of light scuffs on there. Nothing major. Um, and what else? Oh, the uh, I did notice on the front steering knuckle so there is a crack where the ball joint goes in. Just with age. I don't think this has had a lot of use, to be honest. So um, I will replace them. I, don't, I haven't even checked if there's bearings in it. If there isn't, that'll be getting done. And um, we'll probably at least put an alloy motor mount in and the the optional prop shaft in there. Um, and I'll just make it into a nice vehicle that, that moves and runs and, you know, probably won't get a lot of work. But I have had a, a hankering for one of these for a long, long time. So that's been ticked off. Um, also as well... <laughs> um, this obviously just looks like a Lancia Delta Integral, um, but this is, in fact, a XV02 Pro chassis. Now, I got a fabulous deal on this um, from a chap called John. Um, I wasn't particularly looking for one at the time, though I did like the look of them when they came out. I thought, that's a nice chassis. Mm, I quite fancy one of them, but at the same time, I didn't want to build one either. I, didn't, I wasn't really fussed about building the chassis. As I say, I'm, I'm still not a big, I know it's a rally car, but I'm still not a big on-road person or touring car chassis person, never have been. But, um, as I say, I have a hankering for them, and I do li did like the look of the XV02 rally car. I've never had the XV01 though, so I can't make a proper comparison. But I did fancy it. Anyway, this happened to come up and it was all built, full electrics, everything all ready. And I got it at a, a great price. To be honest, I got it for less than what it cost to buy the kit. So it was like, I'm going to have to have that. I'd like to try that. Now, I can't guarantee that this one will stay in the collection. When I'm done with it, depending on what I think of it, I'm, I might move it on. Um, but I did want to give one a go, so that's why we have that. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Really pleased about that. Now, I haven't done much with it. I have given it a little test outside. In fact, we had a little bit of, like, very light dusting of snow. And I did put it out there just to see, um, just to see what it was like. It was very, very cool. I enjoyed it. Um, as I've already mentioned, I I've never had an XV01. And I did want one of them at one point, but I never got around to getting one for whatever reason. And um, I've just got the XVO2 now, so I I've not made a, um, I won't be able to make a comparison really of the two chassis together. However, Mark Bryan, uh, Mark Bryan RC, has done a quite a few videos um, um, comparing the XVO2 and the XVO1, 
well worth checking out. Moving on, Tamiya Blazing Star DF01. Uh, this was, I think it was released in 19, I think it's 96 or 97. Uh, yeah, 1997, and it ran to 2008, and I didn't realise it ran that long. To my knowledge, the last of the releases on the DF01 chassis. Um, it is, of course, uh, it has the uh, Terror Conqueror body set. Now, I like the Terror Conqueror, but I've, I actually really like the Blazing Star. You know, I mean, it's... Uh, you know, the Terra Conqueror has got a few more extra optional goodies, but I really do like the Terra Conqueror. Now, I have had a couple in the past, never kept them for whatever reason, but I find that certain cars stick with me, uh, such as the Striker and the Bearhawk. So I, I, I now have them in the collection that won't be going. So I decided I did want to get hold of a Blazing Star. If a good one came up, and we'll, uh, I'm all, uh, again, we'll look at getting it uh, sorted. Now, on the whole, it's in good condition. It's not a minter, but it's in good nick. And I will just be doing a light um, refurbishment and getting this one running uh, because I just like it. You know, I'm not even going to change. I mean, there's a bit of stick appeal and scuffing on the wing, but I'm not even going to change it. I'm going to leave it as is, basically. But I am going to just go for it mechanically, uh, get it sorted, get it running, and, uh, yeah, I think it'd be cool. So, uh I know uh, after I've had a quick look at it, and it needs new pinion, new gears, plastic gears, because there's a lot of grey grease in there, so I think the alloy, idler gear and the pinion would be nice, doing their worst <laughs> in there, so I'm going to replace them, uh, again, I'm going to get the optional prop shaft on it, and uh, yeah, just pretty much tidy it all up, and get it into a nice, usable uh, working buggy, so I do like that, and... <laughs> this has been putting a massive smile on my face which is this is my uh, grasshopper 2 that I picked up uh, new got a cracking deal on it never been used been built and not used which is what I wanted I, I didn't have I didn't really have the time to go and build a, a grasshopper 2 I know you don't take long but I've got all the stuff to do as well so I managed to find one uh, new, unused, great price, and uh, bought it because this is now uh, what I'm going to be running in the Grasshopper class at the Blackpool File Radio Control Car Club, as we have Grasshopper Racing. So I've been working on that. Now, I wanted to go with a slightly different body, and uh, obviously back in the day, people used to fit uh, bugs like the Thunder Dragon, Fire Dragon, you should fit them onto Grasshoppers, so I wanted to do that with this one. And all it's done, it's uh, totally stock, except for bearings and a Silver Cam 540 motor. And it's got a hobby quick run 1060 ESC in there. Other than that, and apart from that body shell, it is stock. So, um, yeah, and that's that's what we run at the club. And uh, I took it racing, like a shakedown run. Uh, the last round of the Blackpool Files um, RC Club, the Winter Series, and gave it blast. It, oh, I enjoyed it so much. <laughs> it's great. I love it because it's low cost, cheap, fun racing compared to going out and then racing something like uh, my vintage buggies, which tend to be a bit more expensive to race. Uh, but yeah, so great, uh, great fun that. So I've been doing uh, doing that as well. And to top this off, um, hopefully this is not going to be a mega long video, so I do apologise if it is. Um, a friend of mine that I know from racing and some of the vintage meets, I uh, hope he doesn't mind me uh, mentioning his name, he's called Lee Chorley, has donated this rather, rather nice looking F uh, F103 GT uh, sort of Le Mans racer, which is the Toyota Gatso Racing TS050 hybrid car. Now, we, I had a chat with Lee recently um, about you know, showing some um, of these builds on the show, which I have featured before as well in the past. And he said he had this uh, F103 GT chassis and he'd like to donate it to the channel. So firstly, massive thank you, Lee. Really appreciate it. And he said, um, or we, um, we had a chat and we said... Uh, we're going to give it away 
So I've got to thank uh, Lee for that, giving the opportunity to uh, give this away. And uh, so this will be another video on this. I will show you out of the box because it's lovely. Um, and so there will be another dedicated video to this. And we're going to do a giveaway on the channel. So you will be able to win this car. I've not sorted how I'm going to do it yet. But that will be coming up soon-ish. Right, uh, what I will do is though, because it's really nice. Now, if uh, you watched the video I did on the Tamiya, Tamiya Egress Black Edition, this might look a bit familiar now, because I didn't even realise, uh, it's not quite box art this. Oh. you got to move that stuff out of the way, I've got all sorts. Oh. <laughs> Right, I've left the battery in there from racing for some reason and a track book. <laughs> right, oh dear. Sorry about the noise. Uh, but yeah, if you remember the egress I did, now that has been done in the same colour. It's got the uh, pink gold iridescent paint that I did end back in the uh, TS5 black. So that's quite cool, that. It's in the same, uh, same colour as my uh, black egress. But uh, there you go, it's never been used. Absolutely never been used. There you go. Kit also comes with full bearings as standard. And I think from what Lee said, uh, just got the uh, Silver 540 motor in and it's got a steering, just a steering servo in. So uh, there you go. But as I say, it's never never been used. Um, just so you know what you get, uh, you're getting. There, there is a bit of stick appeal on it. But I reckon if you get a hair dryer on that, that might, um, some of that will stick back down. But as I said, we're going to be giving that one away. So uh, if you want to be in a shout with winning that, you do have to be subscribed to the channel. And we do ask that you could uh, please join the Andy Robinson RC Facebook page as well. So yeah, so just a reminder, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, much appreciated. And also again, Please, um, if you subscribe to the uh, Andy Robinson RC Instagram page and the Facebook page as well, just type in Andy Robinson RC, you'll find them. Uh, that is muchly appreciated. So yeah, there we go. So that's a little update of what's been going on. Um, I do plan to have, I need to get back in touch with the chap actually, I do plan to have another cool vintage two-wheel drive buggy uh, coming on the channel. Um it's been holding on to it for me for a while. Um, so I will um, hopefully sort that out soon. I've just been having to sort things a bit, you know, financially and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so there's a little update for you. Um, so cheers for listening to my uh, ramblings about what's going on. And uh, yeah, much appreciated. Right, so um, there'll be more content coming up as usual. Do look out for future videos. We should have the Tamiya blockhead hotshot 2 coming on the channel and i've bought some uh, goodies for that because i like it personally but i do want to change it because there's a few things i'm not overly keen on but i've never built one before i've never built a hotshot 2 before so i wanted to get one uh that was one of the reasons anyway so there's a, a few bits and pieces i'm gonna do to it to make it just slightly different also when it's released hopefully we'll have that car show Ultima Dirt Master uh, that's coming out on the uh, the RB5 Kayasho chassis as well when that's released. So yeah, exciting stuff. Right, I'm going for now. Take care, look after yourselves, and we'll see you all again soon. See you later. Bye.